the barrier of entry for becoming a celebrity has continued to dip lower and lower. There was a time when, at the very least, in order to become famous without any sort of talent, you had to at least get fucked on film and have it leak to the public. Oops, I accidentally kickstarted a multi-million dollar fashion empire, and all I needed to do was come from a wealthy family and take a B-grade rapper's dick. Now, you don't even need to do that. You don't even need to get completely naked. Just take a few pictures of yourself wearing underwear and enough makeup to look like you're constantly being filmed with an Instagram filter, and incels will buy your fucking bath water so they can lube up with it. And because of this, everyone with like a thousand followers or subscribers or whatever thinks they're a fucking influencer, and that they should get a bunch of free shit. The BBC printed a story a few weeks ago about a guy in LA by the name of Joe Nietzsche. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he has some sort of ice cream business. He went viral after getting fed up with people constantly asking him for free shit. The breaking point being some shit sipper who asked him to supply their party of 300 of their closest lackeys and hangers on for free. He didn't, of course, because if you're that fucking important, each ice cream apparently was $4. Multiply that by 300 guests. You don't have $1,200? If you want everyone to get two, you don't have $2,400? in LA, then you're fucking nobody. His food truck has reportedly won LA Weekly's best food truck in the city and has been praised by food journalists according to an article by CTV. So he figures that's why he's getting all this attention. So as a way to vent, he put up a sign that said, influencers pay double, which ironically got him more exposure. <laughs> Some of this sounds a little manufactured, but he's in LA. What can someone expect, right? He's a fucking cliche as well. He's an aspiring actor, and I bet every fucking person that buys ice cream from him is some wannabe famous person. This isn't the first person or company that this has happened to, of course. The BBC article also mentioned a luxury beach resort in the southern Philippines, who politely told influencers to fuck themselves, suggesting they, quote, try to actually work if they want to eat, drink, and sleep there. Another article that went somewhat viral last year was from a text conversation with a wedding floral designer who was asked to provide 80 hours of free labor to a woman who felt she was already spending too much on her wedding, and somehow that's the florist's responsibility to eat the fucking cost. Like all of these influencers, she was told it would be good exposure. She was like, oh, you'll get some good photos. Actually, I'd be helping you out. I've heard this before for sure had nobodies ask me to provide voiceover work for free in their shitty indie games that probably never fucking came out anyway. It'll be good exposure. You're not Bethesda. You're not even fucking Devolver. What meaningful exposure can you provide me? Another story recently from Bored Panda detailed some nobody influencer with 55,000 total subscribers across all of their socials looking for 1,000 free photos and a one-hour documentary leading up to the wedding in exchange for promotion. I'll leave a link to the story in the description, but the photography company Betrothed & Company just mocked the shit out of them. But you know, the religious right is fucking upset with the gays getting married? Oh, that's fucking with the sanctity of marriage. What about these fuckheads who think of their wedding as a means to leverage their popularity and get free shit out of potential advertisers? If you're getting married just so you can have a bunch of Instagrammable moments, they should have the efficient say, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Not even the bride's Instagram followers, whom will be asking her for feet pictures in the heel she's wearing tonight. Or the groom's Instagram followers, whom he has been DMing with over the last few hours, for foot pictures. So fuck influencers. Open office and I agree, we don't even think influencer is a real word. But Buckley, didn't you shill for some vinyl company, some loot box service and a beanbag chair or something? Yeah, I did. And they all came to me. I didn't go begging them for free shit. They asked me. Because, yes, people who have followings might be good advertising potential. But most of the time, it's not. Ask those companies how many extra things they sold. Probably not much. I'll tell you right now, that vinyl club did not sell enough subscriptions through me to make back what they paid me. Because you know why? People aren't influenced by me. No one gives a fuck what I think they should buy. And certainly no one gives a shit what some hot girl is trying to pitch. Followers don't care about the girl. They just want to look at her stupid tits. 
Slap a fucking audible.com sticker on your snatch if you want. It ain't gonna get any more people to pay for a subscription to listen to Will Wheaton read them Ready Player One.